Kurumahia joined FC Leopards in the last four of the eight team tournament after ousting Zanzibar's Jangombe Football Club by two goals to nil. Medi Kegere tapped home Kenneth Muguna's cross after 64 minutes to give Kogalo the lead. The Rwandan international completed his breast when he added a second via penalty kick awarded after Jangombe defender Alma Said handled in the box. Kurumahia is set to play Nakuru Ulsters, who ousted Tanzanian Giants Simba 5 on post match penalties this Thursday at the same venue while FC Leopards, who eliminated Singida. United will face Yanga in the other semi final tomorrow. The final is scheduled for June 11th. Winners will pocket 3 million shillings, while first and second runners up will receive 500,000 shillings and 250,000 shillings, respectively. Meanwhile, Nairobi Deputy Governor Jonathan Mweke says plans to refurbish City Stadium is still on despite delays in the beginning of the first lift process. To be face lifting it into international standards, uh, so Sport Pesa, uh, because of the the level they want to bring City Stadium to has been in consultation with Supersport uh, in South Africa to see if we can build a stadium to the magnitude of the World Cup 2010 stadium that were built in Johannesburg. So right now we are in the stages where we are doing the architecture and only when we finish the preliminary drawings of how it's going to look like is when we'll come up with a figure. But it's a joint project between Sport Pesa and the county of Nairobi.